Our moon is a very unique object in the solar system and it is different from other moons that have been observed. Here are some of the ways that our moon stands out from the rest. First, size. Our moon is one of the largest moons relative to the size of its host planet. It is about one-fourth the size of Earth, which is much larger than any other moon in the solar system. This large size has had a profound effect on our planet and has played a significant role in the evolution of life on Earth. Secondly, origin. The origin of our moon is still a subject of debate among scientists, but it is widely believed that it formed from the debris created by a massive impact between Earth and another celestial body early in the history of the solar system. This is a very different scenario than what is thought to have occurred with other moons, which are believed to have formed from the same material as their host planet. Thirdly, composition. The composition of our moon is also very different from other moons in the solar system. The moon's surface is made up of a basaltic crust, which is rich in iron and magnesium, and its interior is thought to be composed of a mixture of iron, magnesium, and silicon. This composition is very different from other moons, which are typically composed of ice and rock. The fourth unique property is its orbit. It is much closer to Earth than any other moon in the solar system, and its close proximity has led to significant gravitational interactions with our planet. This interaction has caused the moon to gradually move away from Earth over time and has played a role in shaping the Earth's tides and stabilizing its axial tilt. Finally, tides. The large size and close proximity of our moon to Earth has also caused the formation of significant tides on our planet. The gravitational pull of the moon causes the ocean tides to rise and fall, which affects not only the ocean currents but also the solid Earth. This interaction has played a crucial role in the evolution of life on Earth and has helped to shape the planet's coastlines. In summary, our moon is a very unique object in the solar system, with its large size, unique origin, different composition, close orbit, and strong influence on Earth's tide setting it apart from other moons that have been observed. These differences have played a significant role in shaping the history of our planet and have helped to make Earth the unique and diverse world that it is today. A very fascinating new theory is the moon hollow. The theory that the moon is hollow is a relatively modern idea that has gained popularity in recent decades. This theory is based on observations made by lunar missions and suggests that the moon may not be a solid, homogeneous body but instead may have large, empty spaces within its interior. The idea of a hollow moon is based on several pieces of evidence, including measurements of the moon's gravity field, seismological data, and observations of its surface features. For example, the moon's low density and weak gravitational field suggest that it may not have a solid, dense core like that of other terrestrial planets. Additionally, seismological data from the Apollo missions and more recent lunar missions have revealed that the moon has a surprisingly low level of seismic activity. This has led some scientists to suggest that the moon may have a porous, low-density interior, rather than a solid, dense core. Observations of the moon's surface features have also contributed to the theory of a hollow moon. Some scientists have pointed to the presence of large, circular basins on the moon's surface as evidence of a hollow interior. These basins, called impact craters, are thought to have formed from large meteorite impacts that have penetrated the moon's surface and created cavities within its interior. Despite the evidence that supports the theory of a hollow moon, it is important to note that this idea is still considered speculative and is not supported by the scientific community as a whole. Most scientists believe that the moon is a solid, homogeneous body, and there is currently no concrete evidence to support the idea of a hollow moon. In conclusion, the theory of a hollow moon is an interesting and controversial idea, but it is not supported by the majority of the scientific community. 
Further research and observations will be needed to determine the true nature of the moon's interior and to determine whether or not it is indeed hollow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like our videos.